the Jeffrey went reasonably well uh, last weekend. It was it a sprint at Gosby on Saturday and Sunday? Uh, the only problem I had was the front brakes were locking up. Uh, I did notice it was doing that at Forest Burn the week before. I adjusted the, the rear drums just to make sure they were okay, but it was still getting the problem of the fronts locking up and discovered that the brake master cylinder for the rear brakes uh, was bypassing. Obviously the seals had gone in the master cylinder. So I've got some, well I've got another cylinder but it's, it's not quite the same, it hasn't got the integral uh, fluid reservoir. So I shall do a seal swap between the two of them. Assuming the, the bore is okay and the, the master cylinder I've got. The car runs two master cylinders. There's one for the front, one for the rear, uh, with a balance bar on the, the brake pedal. So you can adjust the braking force between front and rear. But as it was, I was just getting front brakes all the time. So I need to get the, the bonnet off and the panel off the footwell so I can get the, the balance bar to take the master cylinder out. The bonnet's held on the nine Zeus fasteners, which uh, are a pain to put back in. Oh, I've got to remember to take the air cleaner off, otherwise, I can't get the bonnet off either. Still want the air cleaner flying off halfway down the street, that's better. fluid in that is really black and gungy and when you press the pedal you get bubbles coming back into the reservoir. Sure sign the seals have gone. Let me take this panel off so I can get to the, the brake pedal. So this is a brake balance bar in the, the brake pedal here. The brake pedal. And the balance bar goes through the centre and it's adjusted with this cross rod with a, a pivot point in the centre. Uh, so this is the push rod for the master cylinder that's uh, failed. When you press these, this goes in and there's absolutely no effort. Whereas the front one is pretty solid. So it's just a case of unscrewing this, uh, this rod. Like that. Two socket headed bolts and nuts and washers on the other side, and the thing should come out. Well, that's the master cylinder out. I need to strip it down. There's a, a circlet in behind this rubber boot that holds the gubbins in. And you can pull that rod off and then just tap this, and the pistons oops, piston should come out and you won't drop. Fluid everywhere. That should uh, clean the toolbox up nicely. <coughs> that's it. So that's the circle in the push rod. And then there's a piston in there that should just pop out. Oh, looks pretty smooth, but the seals were pretty black looking. So, we'll see what my other set of seals look like. I'll give this a good clean with brake clean.
I'm seeing a, a little ring that looks like a seal stuck on it at some stage. This is the original master cylinder. It's got the integral reservoir on it. The replacement that I got uh, is the one with the remote reservoir. But hopefully I can use the internal seals and rods uh, to replace this one. Because the board looks okay in this. So I'll dismantle that one and transfer it on. I will use this rod here. It's been specially adapted for my balance bar, so that's interchangeable. There we go, that's the, the new inside. Old and new. You just uh, just replace the seals. Just replace the whole rod assembly. Well, I'm tempted. Bore, to. the bore's all right. Yeah. Just see if it's should be. Think the bore's all right. A little tight in there. Let's, might have to. Pull that one going. Just a bit tight on that. Might have to replace it with that one. Seal should be alright, but the, the slug in it is a bit bigger, which is worrying. Because <laughs> they're both point sevens. This point seven uh, body had a, a slug that was slightly larger than the original. So. I have swapped the seal onto the original slug and put the, the new seals and springs on this one so that it should slide into the original body. Get it square, that's it. Yep, that goes in. seals. Another seal on there. Put a bit of red rubber grease on the, the seals. Stop it corroding a bit where the piston slides in and out. Over the back end of the piston. Especially formulated for brake rubbers. Stop any corrosion in there. That's the master cylinder replaced. Well, the seals in it anyway. I've put the, the rod back on the balance bar. Before, this rod was going right in. Now it's been bled and there's virtually no movement. <laughs> I bled the rear brakes with the help of Angus. <laughs> And we have now got a very firm pedal. So I've set the balance bar back a bit, had, had adjusted it towards the rear when I wasn't getting any rear brakes, but it wasn't doing any good. But uh, we shall see how that works at the weekend. <laughs> 